Hi, I'm Mike Thompson, and in this video, I'm going to show you how my cardboard hot wire foam cutter works. Now, it won't be cardboard forever. I hope to make it out of wood someday, but I had a lot of cardboard on hand after my boat race, so I thought, hey, might as well make some stuff to cut foam. Now, in case you're unfamiliar with this, the principle of operation is really simple. You have a hot wire right here, which heats up when you pass current through it, just like anything else. And once it reaches sufficient temperature, it can cut styrofoam. Uh, in this case, this is expanded polystyrene. Uh, styrofoam is a trade name, but very similar. So what I've got here is the foam cutter. I'll describe the structure first. I've got five layers of laminated cardboard running all around here. Now the key thing to note here is the grain in the cardboard runs parallel to the beam sections because there's a lot of you know stress this direction here because of the wire. So make sure that the grain when you build it does run all the way. Uh, same with wood when you build it out of wood as well. So I've got five layers of cardboard thick. Each layer is five thirty seconds of an inch. So I'm running twenty five thirty seconds here, which is sufficient for what I'm doing. The table. Let me take the little counterweight out here and show you. This just pops off. So underneath here, we have my lower adjustment mechanism, which I'll describe in a bit. Uh, the wire attaches to my adjustment mechanism with a paper clip, really simple, and then runs up through this table. The table is a one inch honeycomb. There's uh, on three inch centers in both directions, cardboard running across the grain inside this table so that it doesn't have to be a solid piece. And then I've got 12 square inch 12 or not 12 square inches 12 by 12 on top 12 by 12 on bottom and then it's just held up four inches off the table by these couple pieces here this notch here centers me on this beam and so do the notches I don't know if you can see them but there's similar notch just like this set back an additional three inches underneath so and that simply clamps on I got a quarter inch hole on the top which I center over my wire I've got a spring on my upper adjustment mechanism to maintain tension on my wire. And then I've got, of course, I don't know if you can see it in the picture, scuba weights here at the back because I didn't want to mount this to anything permanently because it's just cardboard. So that's about all there is to the structure. It's really simple. Oh, one other note, I guess, on my corners, rather than have ribs that show through this region here, I have ribs where the grain runs at a 45 on the outer panels at the bottom and the top. And so then these weights conceal that m most of the time. And then they just sit on those little cardboard extensions there. This keeps this thing nice and vertical. This table with its slot underneath to hold my C-frame. It's pretty rigid for cardboard and when the weights aren't on it, it weighs about two pounds. So anyway, in my next video, I'm going to show you how all this works. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.